Welcome to a video from digitallife.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can join the Windows Insider program and test new builds of Windows 10. I'll show you a little bit about the, the rings that are available, the different options that are available when you sign up for uh, Windows Insider builds on your machine. So the first step is to become a Windows Insider. And Windows Insider is about testing Windows 10. So you've got to remember when you're doing this that these are test builds of Windows 10. So you don't install these on your primary machine. I'm using mine here as a virtual machine, but you can install it on an old laptop or a spare laptop. The very first to do is to sign up and join the Windows Insider program. So you go here to insider.windows.com and join up, sign up with your Microsoft account, and then you can get started. So first of all, uh, sign up from from here join up join the Windows Insider program uh, then go to your Windows 10 machine go into settings go to Windows update and security and you'll see here this is the, the Windows update screen there's no updates available at the moment I right, go to Windows Insider program and I can now sign up for and join the Windows Insider program once you've got a Microsoft account you can do this on any devices. You don't have to have all your devices on the Windows Insider program. You can have a mixture, some on getting more frequent updates than others, uh, some uh, just getting sort of previews of the next version and so on. Each device can be independent. So I'm going to link an account. I'm going to sign in here with my Microsoft account. So now this is registering this machine on the Windows Insider program. So we've got three choices to choose from at the moment. We've got slow, fast and release preview. Slow, uh, so let's start with the release preview one. That's probably the easiest one. This one is a standard version, the supported version of Windows, but you'll get sort of first look at it before it gets released to everybody. Also with apps as well, you'll get updates to apps and drivers before this goes out to the to users. But these are tested and ready to go installations. So just be careful as well. If you're a Surface, you'll also get if you're Surface only, you'll get Surface driver updates on here as well. The top one here, this is oh, so sorry, the next so the next one I'm going to talk about here is the fast ring. This is the most frequent updates to Windows 10. These, this is a version of Windows 10 that includes features that haven't been rolled out yet and may not even be rolled out at all or for future developments of Windows 10. So this is the most risky but the most frequent uh, uh, builds. Usually it's about one a week you get with these. Sometimes everything works fine. Sometimes there's a, a bug, maybe OneDrive wouldn't work or something else. So it could be a bit of a showstopper. So you can kind of skip that build or, like I said, use a test device so it doesn't really matter. It's not business critical. Then the, the next one down from that is slow. And slow is a preview of the next version of Windows 10. So as I record this in March, the, if you're on slow, you'll get April updates of Windows 10, the April update of Windows 10 that's coming out April, May time, something like that for regular users. So you get that preview of the next version of Windows 10, but it's been tested by Windows Insiders already and um, almost for a year. So fast would be the most risky, slow sort of medium and release is the least risky. So you choose the the um, the ring that, that best suits what you want to do. So I'm going to go fast on this one. I want the latest ones. So it's going to ask for a reboot now. So I'm going to restart this build and then um, I'll be then on the fast ring and we can check for updates. Right, that's done now. It's rebooted. So let's go to settings and check. Right, so here we can do check for updates. So that's checking for updates now. Let's go to the settings and just have a quick look what we did before. Here you can see we're in the fast ring now. So it's checking for updates now. These couple of updates, would, it would have come down anyway, but here's the Insider Preview build on its way down. If we have a look at the settings, the Windows Insider program settings, you'll see that we're on fast ring and we could change it to slower release preview, but we can't at the moment because we get, well, we can because it hasn't applied the build. But once you're in fast ring and you're getting these new builds, you can't go back to slow because that will be an earlier version of Windows 10. So you'd have to reset your machine. Same with release preview. You can go from slow to fast or release preview to slow, but you can't go backwards. If you did want to drop out the 
inside of builds on this machine you can enable that there and then what happens is when that release version ships that you're currently matched with then it sort of knocks your settings back off again it knocks you off the inside of program so you can continue not sure how well that works with fast because fast is always the next version if you're on slow it could definitely work and um, release preview no problem at all so like i said you've got to take this into consideration it might be that if you want to get it back to normal you're going to have to reset your machine So now that's down, I'm going to download this uh, new build and I can get this new build and I can test Windows 10. You make sure you use the feedback hub if you want to report your feedback. Uh, just go into the uh, search box and open up the feedback hub and you can log feedback on there. And that's it, you're, you're good to go. You're on the Windows inside a program, you're getting new builds, um, test new builds of apps, new drivers and new builds of Windows 10. So thanks for watching this video, more on thegislifestyle.com. I'm Ice Dixon on Twitter.